My name is Randy Bigley. Joining me right now, the mayor of Crestline, Linda Horning Pitt. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, Randy. I'm so glad to be here. Well, good. It's always good to hear from you because it's so nice to hear all the good things happening in Crestline. And I'm not just saying that because you're here. I see it all around. You guys have all kinds of great things going on. And Crestline is really on that upturn, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we are. And and so what's really cool right now is that, we, we, you know, we're coming into the holidays. Mm -hmm. And so I always like to encourage people, hey, shop local. Mm -hmm. And so we have this really cute, it's called the alley. And there's businesses off the alley that maybe you may not know about. So right. this, the, the, the first one on the corner would be the Best Little Hair House. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I love the name, yeah. you know, and, and they have, I mean, they're like almost a full service salon. So they do have a massage therapist on staff as well as, you know, hair and nails. So that's a good thing. And then right behind it is Susie's Dog Spa. Oh, wow. And, yeah. and I don't know if you know about that, but it, she draws literally... I bet you she draws um, 50 to 60 miles. Oh, wow. People come yeah. around to get her, to get her services, mm -hmm. and then inside her cute little shop is a is a little clothing boutique that I found out the other day. I'm really? Like, well, isn't yeah. that cute? You know. <laughs> yeah. And then as you as you walk your way down, you'll see you know the coffee shop that we had mm -hmm. uh, in the Silver Bullet, and now that is moving into the sh that has moved into the sh old Shunk Museum. Okay. Yeah. And it's yeah. beautiful inside, so nice. you need to kind of take a look at that too. And then of course you know we got the holiday seasons, you know, fine jewelry. Then you hit meet you go across the street and you hit Strap and Miller's, who's been there. Mm -hmm. A long time. Sorry, Reed. Don't can't remember the year. That's right over. It's been a long time. Yeah, been a long time. Over may over seventy five years for sure. Sure. Wow, it's a long time. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So we got a lot of homegrown. Uh, Hawker Hardware is great too. You know, and they have a great gift shop as well. Yeah. And so you know, people tend to support the local businesses. Great food there. Great restaurants there, right? Yeah, yeah. great food, great restaurant, and uh, and you know, a little, uh, a little. Uh, it's well, it's it's well known, but people seem to forget it is just joking. Yeah, and, right. You know, yeah. Oh, they have. That's been around for a long time. It, it has, yeah. and you know, people are like, really, and I'm like, oh my god, they got the best wings. You mm -hmm. know, Thursdays is wing night, and they have the best burgers. They make their hand patty. Mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, and they're and it, granted, they're only open Tuesday through Friday, but still, you can get great food. Uh, you know, at a great price. Yeah, you know? yeah. So yeah. it's really good. So we do have that, and we do have. Um, Joey's Cafe and Pub, not sure when that's opening, yeah. but they are doing construction. I have seen that, okay. so that's good. All right, plus yeah. you have a great Mexican mm -hmm. restaurant there, right? Me, Cerritos, it's oh, awesome. Yeah. That also draws such a great crowd. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I know that they pass at the last election um, uh, liquor by the drink on Sunday for okay. Sunday liquor sales. Yeah. And yet, I think the process is, and I don't know if they got that yet, but I know after the election and the certified election results go to the state and then the state does their thing and then the state sends the updated liquor license to me Cerrito. so that's yeah. but that's for sunday some people you know they want a beer and they want a margarita on sunday so mm -hmm. so it'll be it'll be nice awesome yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. great <clears throat> so lots of great things uh, you know we're coming up to halloween time i'm sure you got mm -hmm. trick-or-treat coming up here and yeah yes we do in fact we have uh, october 30th that's yes. the last sunday of october is always our trick-or-treat day mm -hmm. and that is from two to four and then right after it is scary business i was gonna say that's coming up too yeah right? yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Right. it's immediately afterwards right yeah. i mean i'm trying to figure out how many kids we had last year i i i'm thinking it was over, almost a thousand wow. people walk yeah. through that town and then the business decorated they decorate mm -hmm. and then also what happens is um so we have contests right now. So mm -hmm. people are supposed to take pictures. Of, whoops! Take pictures of their house. <laughs> take, tearing the place apart. I, have, I am sorry. <laughs> sorry. Well, I have uh, take pictures uh, of their house yeah. and send it into the um, Crestline Community Development Team's Facebook yeah. page, and um, pictures of your business that you're decorating, yeah. and so then the people vote. Oh, great! Yeah, yeah and cool. then they get a little prize. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we're coming up also Christmas season, all kinds of stuff. I mean, you guys, that's a busy time for you guys. It, so. it is. Yeah. And, yeah. okay, so we have Winterfest mm -hmm. coming up, and that will be, um, actually, this year it is the Friday and Saturday after Thanksgiving mm -hmm. at the Hub. And I know the girls have been working really hard. I know they're going to have an ice skating rink, nice. that portable yeah. ice skating rink mm -hmm. that day. Uh, and the neat thing is, though, I, I think this is, I'm, I'm looking forward to see how they pull this off. Because Friday is from 5 a.m. 
until 2 p.m. because Friday's like Black Friday. Yeah, Monday. right, yeah. And then on Saturday, hours are from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. because they're waiting for the, they're waiting till after the Ohio State Michigan yeah, game. Right. Yeah, which is probably a smart move. <laughs> well, I think so. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, ladies, yeah. after the game, you know, your husbands might be feeling pretty good, and right. take that wallet and come out and spend it in Crestline. <laughs> sure, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I got the girl uh, from the hub coming up here today with me on the podcast. Oh, we'll wonderful. So yeah, so we get to talk about all the great things going over there. That's another thing you guys have. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. It's a very nice venue too. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's an awesome venue. So yeah, and that's it's it's great because it that has also people come in and they're just floored they're like oh this is yeah. so pretty and so I think if I do believe we are the largest event center in Crawford County. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah well, that's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Great. Lots of great yeah. things happening. We do. Yeah. We do. We have a lot of good things, and so you know. We got the Halloween, we yeah. got the Thanksgiving, right. and I, I, you know, I believe, um, you have to ask Clayton, but I believe our Christmas parade is the Sunday after, okay. the Sunday after Thanksgiving. So you okay. got the Winterfest, and then that Sunday is the Christmas parade. Okay. You know, so hopefully we'll get a lot of, uh, hopefully the weather mm -hmm. will be better, because last year it was oh, brutal. I, I remember, yeah, so, it was. Yeah. So hopefully, and uh, people will decorate their floats or get, participate. In, the, in that parade, so that'll be great. All right, so looking forward to all the great things. Anything else you want to add that we have talked about? Okay, so let me think. <clears throat> all right, so I got to talk about, um, you know, so it went, you got to winterize your car. Oh, so yes, right. Make sure, you know, we have accurate auto care. We also have Willie Tire. They do great jobs. They're both on each opposite end of our town. So I always like to tell people, hey, make sure you're taking care of yourself and your your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're you're ready for that and then also um you know our museum mm -hmm. is open on the first and third weekends but on the third weekend on sunday we always have a program and then this sunday at uh three o'clock is jan maddie and she's you know you know a um you know she's born and raised in crestline mm -hmm. but she uh, is going to be talking about her military career oh, and her experiences yeah. which is which is yeah. interesting you know so a lot yeah. so we're looking forward to having her speak there at the crestline museum on scott street so awesome. i think um yeah and i think i think we covered that and you know also <clears throat> you know there's um you know just a lot of places you know yeah to, all right that you can go to all right. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, Linda. It's always good to hear great things happening in Crestline, right? Yeah, it, it, absolutely. You know, keep your fingers crossed. We got a lot of good things happening, and yeah. you know, everybody's everybody is feeling the pinch. Everybody, yeah, right. and you know, I pray every day, and I'm like, okay, if we can just get through the next couple of years, because we are building. You know, right now it's out to bid for a new sewer treatment plant, yeah, right. and once we get that in play, then that'll. Uh, you know, hopefully loosen up the EPA so that we can now expand because that's holding us back from expansion. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. So, all right, we'll just get through these next couple of years, right? That's right. All right. All right, Linda. Thank you so much. Thanks, Randy.